perfect. Thank you. It's truly about the actions people can take, the very simple daily activities that you can implement that will make a difference in this world. You'd be surprised. Even talking to a child nicely counts as doing something against the New World Order agenda. Helping somebody with their car that's broken down or something is against the New World Order agenda. Anything that you could possibly think of that doesn't involve being a taker, a hater, or an abusive scumbag is inherently against the New World Order agenda. But let's talk about what people don't talk about. The higher you go in the infinite realms of heaven, the nicer things are. And sometimes we can be so focused on wanting clarity and truth, and I want to know what's true, right, that thing? That we're not actually going about things in the nicest way. And that's more important than anything in the spiritual journey. Are you going about your path in a nice, casual way? Are you nice to other people? Are you nice to yourself? That's, that's more of what I care about. There are, so, I mean, God bless all of us. There are so many beings on this planet who could walk around and talk about the most sophisticated forms of awakening and abiding realization and who haven't put it all together and realized, hey, you know a lot of spiritual stuff, but you're not that nice of a person. And, they, and then they can even justify it and go, oh, but this is just the play, it doesn't really matter. Oh, it totally matters. It totally matters. It totally matters. And not that superstition where, oh, you gotta be nice to people because in the next lifetime, you don't wanna come back as a mosquito and, oh my God. Oh my God, I was totally, drunk with ego power and I came back as a pile of horse poop. That'll show me. That'll show me. It's not that at all. It's that your spiritual evolution, your level of consciousness, is literally governed by how nice you are. And I don't know if anyone's made that direct of a point, but I will literally go on record and I will tell you straight out the gate that your level of consciousness is determined by how nice of a person you are. Because the impersonal realms of awareness are only accessed by how aligned you are in your personal journey. And the sign of an aligned person, even if you know yourself to be on the person, is niceness, goodness, compassion, and love. So even if it's like, I don't care about this human experience, I just want to get to the truth as fast as possible, then be a nice freaking person. But you have to be doing something. Sitting around doing nothing is not against the New World Order agenda. That's simply being a spectator. If you're listening to radio shows and things of that nature, how many hours a week do you listen to? Versus how many hours a week do you create your own content? Or go out and of your own recognizance and uh, take activities or hard questions or something of that nature to the agents of the New World Order in your midst. <laughs> or the uh, brainwashed people that don't think that such a thing even exists. And sure, you'll get spit on and attacked and called a conspiracy theorist. But I'd rather do that then get exterminated you know but that's me <laughs> oh you know for me it's not really a hard choice maybe because I've made it into a black and white decision and let's not forget that not everybody can do something like uh, make a, a documentary or whatever I mean I scarcely say not, not everybody you know sure maybe everybody could make a documentary if they were born into the right environment had all the right equipment and blah and blah de blah de blah de blah but unfortunately we weren't all, in, all, all born so privileged were we and so it's a burden of those who are so privileged to do something for other people in it and we've all got a skill like that well, well most of us do I think something that you can do better than other people can do or at least reasonably well that can really help people in their lives or, or whatever 
And every time you stop and say something nice to yourself, hey, you just did a good job. Think of it this way. We all do extraordinarily amazing things every day. Every day we do amazing things. But it's so natural to us, we don't take the time to feel good about it. I often, I always, I often call it the crime of the century. We do great things every day, but it doesn't register. Like you walk into a store and someone's there and you hold the door open for them. You opened the door and did something nice to them. And even if they don't acknowledge it, what if you acknowledge it and just said to yourself, hey, that was really nice of you. That was really nice of you. You're a really great person. And then someone might say, that's not authentic. That doesn't feel right. Why? Because their emotional bank account is in a negative balance. Saying something nice would take them from negative to still something negative. So it doesn't take you out of the negative into the positive. The subconscious mind says that doesn't work. But it always works. It just takes time. And to alleviate any misunderstanding about authenticity, talking to yourself nicely is not inauthentic. And here's how you know. Because most people will say, if I can't talk to myself and, fe and go from feeling crappy to feeling blissed out of my mind, right? If I can't go from hell to ayahuasca, right? If I, can't do, if I can't do that in three seconds, then it's all doomed. That's, that's like how impatient we are. <laughs> right? That's, <laughs> we're a little impatient. So... But here's how you know it's always authentic. I'm not saying, because again, inauthentic or lying to yourself or that fake it till you make it scenario is when you're pretending to feel the way you don't feel. We're, none of us are pretending. I'm not saying pretend to feel happy. No, no, don't pretend at all. What I'm saying is authenticity is not about trying to pretend or even if you say the words to yourself and it's like, well, it's, I'm, not, you know, I'm not used to this, I'm not really feeling the, 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 the power of those words yet. The way you know it's authentic is isn't those nice words the way you want to be able to talk to yourself? Put aside if you can talk to yourself. Isn't that the way you want to be talked to by other people? Don't you want people to be nice to you? Don't you in a perfect world want to be nice to yourself? So talking to yourself nicely isn't inauthentic because you're saying, look, I want to talk to people this way. I want them to talk to me this way. The fact that I don't feel the juju in it is because my emotional bank account is crazy in the negative. I've racked up many uh, penalties for my account being negative for so many days. I am now consciously complimenting myself to take my balance from the negative into the clear. And the fact that it doesn't feel like I can really feel or believe those words is just the process of me rectifying my account balance. It's just actually working with your subconscious mind. Does that make sense? So you can say nice things to yourself and your body goes, I don't feel it, I don't believe it. And you go, of course not. I'm still in the negative and we just work with it and every day we find new ways to make complementary deposits into our heart. Right? We make deposits every day. No, we don't want any cash back. We let the account build. We build up the equity, just like you build up the, your account. And then one day you take yourself shopping. You go, oh my God, I can afford this all of a sudden. Oh my God, I never could afford this before. Just like spiritually, one day you'll walk around going, oh my God. I'm being loving to other people, loving to myself, and I'm not having to hate myself along the way. I'm not bullying myself, I'm actually doing it. Because it's really strange to me that you'd have uh, any kind of talent and use it for nefarious purposes and self-gain. Uh, I mean, self-gain, don't really have much of a problem with, but nefarious purposes, deception, etc., not a good move not a good move and then when you're listening to these people on the radio you know i used to be a member of the audience too don't even really listen to much of anything anymore i'm too freaking busy making my own stuff a hundred little side projects but anyway you kind of lose touch after a while don't you um you kind of think you know i've learned enough i think it might be time to switch it off go out and do something really get into the swing of things because 
Knowledge without application is nothing. Right? Oh, I know this. Really? Have you done it before? Well, no. Then you don't really know it. You know, I got a call from a, um, a guy I met at a couple of protests uh, just this morning, actually. And he wants to uh, put his story out onto a video. And he's like asking me all these questions about how do I do this and I'm not sure if I'm do it all perfect or everything. And I was like, what, what, what equipment should I use? And I was just like, well, bro, use whatever equipment you got. Do it in any way you want. Send it to me. I'll edit it up so it's nice and uh, 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 concise and pretty, etc. And then you've got nothing to worry about. Because it's... Do you know how... If you're waiting for perfection, you'll never start anything. But if you just get stuff going, if you just get the ball rolling, if you just start doing whatever you want with whatever it is you've got, you'll get stuff done. It's pretty straightforward, isn't it? It might not look very professional, but as I said, you've... (laughs) <laughs> There's a lot of people who accuse me of being pretty unprofessional. By the way I look at it, the world's currently full of people who are professional. And they're running the world. How's that working out for you? <laughs> you know? Who cares what other people think? Who cares if you make a mistake? It's one, it's one less mistake you'll make later on. That's the way you got to look at it. Get your experience. Get into it. Start doing it. Don't you don't need help or advice or, or, or anything. Use your basic understanding of how to get stuff done, and then mentors will start appearing. People who actually know more than you about what it is that you're doing. They just turn up. I'm not kidding. It'll happen. So we make deposits. No, we don't want cash back, and we let the account build. By just saying beautiful, loving things to ourselves. Even if you're at a place of saying to yourself, I don't know how to be nice to myself. Just saying something that brutally honest is making a deposit. So even if you can't make a deposit or if you feel like saying something so nice makes you feel kind of insecure or feels kind of dorky. Maybe saying I love you to yourself just feels too, I don't know. You my little pony or something. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Two. <laughs> right? For me, you know, saying I love you is a beautiful thing. I mean, for me, I still do the I love you process, not because I'm a person who needs to. I literally, in the privacy of my home, do the I love yous for humanity. I do the I love yous for every soul and every dimension who doesn't know how to do it yet. I privately do these things for the world, not for myself. Maybe for you, saying I love you or you're special. Maybe, maybe that doesn't resonate. Maybe you still have that, right? Your account is such in the emotional negative place that your spiritual insight is now like taken over. I shouldn't have to say I love you to myself, right? <laughs> I shouldn't have to. This is an outrage. Why should I say such nice things to myself? I should ignore myself and perform like a champion. This is an outrage. Talk to myself. Why should I do such a thing? Right? We're willing to sit on our head in yoga postures. We're willing to meditate for months on end. But saying something nice to yourself is the straw that breaks the camel's back. Are we for real? Are we for real in the spiritual reality? If I suggested something to you ridiculous, difficult, and just exaggerated, there would be a part of the ego that goes, you know, that might just work. But if I say, why don't you be nice to yourself? Why don't you say some nice words to yourself? That's outrageous all of a sudden. That's unreasonable. I don't know about this mad guy. He wants me to like, you know, talk nice to myself. I don't know if I trust that guy. Like, what, what agenda do I have? Right? You talk nice to yourself. Your heart is the center of the universe. Talk nice to yourself. You're actually talking nice to all hearts because you are a manifestation of all hearts. So you saying something nice to yourself is filling goodness in every heart to raise the vibration of the planet. What agenda other than 
bringing heaven to earth is being translated here. There's no, there's nothing, nothing else going on. Just trying to interrupt your inner tirade of self-hatred so that you can bring your emotional bank account to a positive balance so then you can start writing checks that your heart's willing to cash. Now, doesn't that make a lot of sense? <laughs>